Welcome to Alice in Minecraft. This is a build that is not downloadable. However, he has some beautiful screenshots and he has made a video. Very few of this person's builds are available for download. This is made by Rubik Cube Man and I'm putting a link in the description to his spot on planet Minecraft. It seems only one of his build is available and that would be that one unicorn it's called. I'm putting this up just so you can get an idea of how you can translate stuff from your life experience and literature and art and film and so on into Minecraft to give you some ideas about directions you can go with your build. This is truly, I don't need to even tell you this, a magnificent build. Keep playing, keep thinking, keep planning and don't ever think it's impossible because if you can imagine it you can probably do it in Minecraft. Something very strange is going on with the dragon. Nathan Adams aka Dinnerbone tweeted out some cryptic messages about improvements he's making in preparation for the 1.9 release and he tweeted out a very cryptic image that he said looked like Atuan, which is in mythology the giant turtle on whose back the world rests. Very dark image, very difficult to see, but a lot of people figured out it was the end. It looks like he's working on the dragon's mechanics, but also there's a new texture that he hasn't explained, and it also would seem that maybe the PC edition will be getting some of the stuff the Pocket Edition has. The rumor that I've heard is that the dragon can breathe fire. Also, there might be protections around the crystals so that we can't just throw snowballs, eggs, and arrows at them and expect them to disappear. It might become harder to remove the healing crystals. Anyway, things are happening already for the 1.9 version of Minecraft, so stay tuned. Weird dragon behavior. Microsoft was not hacked, but user passwords were fished. Given the recent rash of internet security breaches, you'd think that users would be more careful about their online accounts and passwords. Apparently not so. In fact, according to a recent report, 123456 is still the most popular password around. That same disregard for security, or maybe just laziness, has resulted in as much as 1,800 Minecraft accounts, including their passwords, to be compromised. It might be too easy to presume that Minecraft's servers have been hacked, but apparently it was all a result of a phishing scam. Minecraft creators Mojang, now part of the Microsoft family, is officially saying that their servers were not hacked. There was no break-in. All of these happened because, quote, a bunch of bad people, end quote, managed to trick that many people into sharing their passwords, otherwise known as phishing. Granted, phishing isn't exactly a simple case of people handing over their passwords knowingly to a stranger. More often than not, they are elaborately designed to fool users into thinking such third parties are, in fact, legit Mojang emails or sites where users are fooled into logging in and, therefore, giving away their passwords. Of course, to the untrained eye, those emails and websites do seem correct, which is, of course, the entire point. That is why many modern browsers nowadays have tools and features that alert users to such attempts, which are sadly often ignored. Mo Yang says that it has already alerted affected users and have forced reset of the compromised passwords. Those who aren't affected can still, of course, reset their passwords on their own, just to be sure. Mojang also recommends that users make use of different passwords for different services, though that's unlikely to happen. In those cases, it might be best to make use of a trusted password manager. As they always say, prevention is the best cure. This is the only information about Minecon 2015 from Vu, COO of uh, Mojang. 
Hi everyone, I've been getting a lot of questions about Minecon lately because before this time last year, this is dated August of last year, everyone knew the date and location and ticket info for Minecon 2013. While we don't have a set date for the next Minecon just yet, I wanted to let everyone know that it won't be until sometime in 2015. I'm shooting to have it in spring in London. While I'd love to do Minecon every year and it's the only event we do as a company, we want to make sure that we can give it the attention it needs. And that means that springtime next year will work best. As soon as I have confirmed information, it'll be out there. We always announce as soon as we confirm with the venue and have a signed contract, but never before. Because we want to make sure we can follow through with the event and we never want people to start planning to attend something that might not happen. So watch out for information in the coming months. Signed, Boo. That's all the information about Minecon that exists today. Here's another build for you. It's by Darweed. It's Lordron from Dark Souls. It's a mega build and it really is. It's a one by one scale. He says it's still in the early stages of development. It's not finished, but it is downloadable. It's one of his favorite games of all time. And he was inspired to make a world of Lordron in Minecraft. He started the project when he was disappointed that he couldn't find any large Dark Souls landscape or good designs for areas. He further adds some good news. Due to the use of command blocks, he has figured out a way to add other areas into the map. So it will require teleporting to different areas instead of a seamless transition between areas. But this means that the height limit will no longer limit him from building in other areas. It does have a texture pack. It's called the Conquest Resource Pack. He also recommends installing Optifine for the connected textures option. People who've been viewing the download have made some suggestions, including the concept of making campfires with connected armor stands and so on, and it has influenced the build. He just built it in a normal world. He said, unfortunately, I do this in my spare time because I have a job and a lot of things that demand my attention. If I could do this as my full-time job, I would in a heartbeat. I can only dedicate about three to four hours a day to this project at the moment. He says he's the only builder right now. He hasn't had anyone else work on it yet, but he might be open to letting someone else help him. So that's definitely worth heading over to Planet Minecraft and checking it out, downloading it, and if you want a build project and are willing to volunteer, you might want to contact him. Don't forget to drop off your diamonds and likes when you visit him. Finally, in this edition of News of Minecraft by Granny Gamer one a couple of visual treats. The artwork of Dimitri Burmach. What if Minecraft mobs were real? And a special little offering by some unknown YouTuber named Nizach. About a game about cake. That's it for this edition of News of Minecraft by Granny Gamer One. Be sure to tune in. Looks like we're going to do this about once a week. Thanks for watching. Bye.
Like, dislike, share, comment, subscribe, and let's go. Get it!